Hi, my name is Rob Torok, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple program using LabVIEW for Mindstorms NXT. The first thing we're going to do is click on this blank VI targeted to NXT and LabVIEW brings up these two windows, the front panel that we will minimize and the block diagram that we will maximize because we want to see all of this and we're going to need some functions so we need to find the functions palette by right clicking and you see we've got a few different options here NXT programming, NXT IO and a bunch of other things we want NXT IO the way to make this uh, functions palette stay on the screen is by selecting this pin uh, up in the top left hand corner of this window uh, you could also pin that first functions palette and then click on the NXT IO to bring up that window and you'll see more or less the same thing if yours ends up being uh, a little bit different to mine, uh, you can do customize view this palette as, and you can choose. Uh, we, you can try different options here to see how it displays. So this one here is view this palette as icons and text. And we'll drag out a motor block. And that motor block, you'll see it's got a few little, uh, these little terminals around it. And we get a bit of information when we hold the mouse over those. These are the inputs and outputs. Uh, we're also going to put in a weight block. So the idea here is going to be we want to make the robot go forward for a couple of seconds and then stop. Now, if you bring a block close enough, when you first drag it out from the pallet, it will wire in automatically. Uh, that didn't happen here because I didn't bring it close enough but if I click on this icon and move it over here and press the space bar that will re-enable the auto wiring and that's pretty handy uh, it's also good to know how to wire yourself so we'll do that with the next block we'll grab another motor block drag that next to this wait for time and this one will wire manually by clicking on the top right hand corner of the wait for time and going across to the top left hand corner of the forward. We don't have to have the mouse held down while we're dragging across, uh, which is pretty handy. Now we want to make the robot go forward for some time and then we'll make the robot stop. So we need to go to the second motor block and click on this drop down list and go and select motor off and we've got a choice of coastal brake. Let's choose brake. And then to download the program we hit this download button and it will download it and run it straight away and you might be able to hear the motor once it's downloaded and run okay and that's worked fine now let's say we wanted to change the time or the uh, output ports or the power level of the motor um, now you notice with each of these blocks we don't see a configuration panel like you would in NXTG to find out what you can change on any of these blocks you can go to the help menu and show context help and then hold the mouse over the relevant icon and you'll see this one's a motor on uh, up the top we've got an output port which by default is all ports bottom left hand corner we can change the power so if we want to uh, make the robot run at full power we can right click on that terminal and select create a constant and you can see from the help that it can range from negative 100 to 100 so let's make it full power at 100 uh, the negative powers make the motor go in a reverse direction and the time let's say instead of going forward for one second we want to make it go forward for two seconds so we can right click on that and again do the same thing create constant change that to two press enter now if we download and run this program you will hear the motor go for two seconds and that's the first program in LabVIEW why don't you have a go now and come up with your own sequence of move commands and weights and see what you can see what you can do maybe you try and make the robot move in a figure eight